Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and uh, courses. So the link is down below. We are very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at uh, Bitcoin. And as you can see, we did have a massive rally uh, and broke down pull back quite a bit we tested these previous highs over here we went all the way up towards the uh, 52,252 and then broke down at the moment it looks like we're going to head back towards the 20 exponential technical indicators are not very bullish the cci is becoming a little bit bullish and so is stochastic but the macd is still bearish and so is the rsi so at the moment pullbacks towards the 20 if that is um acting as support then we'll probably rally from there otherwise break below that opens the door to these previous lows at the 43,000 and the 50 moving average so let's look at uh, ethereum so most of these cryptocurrency have have been rallying today so especially bitcoin and ethereum have been rallying here is a little bit more bearish uh, scenario because we did rally and went past the 20 exponential and then broke down. At the moment, we're trading between the 20 and the 50. So until we basically break about the 50, you know, the 20 exponential, then we're not going to 2000 at any time soon. But uh, yes, it looks like we are rounding off here. It looks like this was basically the very lows. Technical indicators one MACD as well is also rounding off, up, going to pass zero. If this continues, and that will be a push towards uh, 20,000. Um, CCI is bullish, uh, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is basically flat at this point. But break about the fifth in the 20 exponential, that is needed in order for this to go higher. So let's look at ADA, Cardano. Yes, this continues to break down towards most likely the 20, uh, 20 moving average um, around one dollar zero five ten million dollars are turning around so they are very bearish <clears throat> sorry so we did rally up towards the two point one point four four and now we're starting to go slowly down grind towards the 20 exponential before most likely rallying from there so this is going to take time. Uh, we did have this massive move uh, yesterday, but today we rallied a little bit. Now it looks like we're going to fall again. So technical leaders are uh, pointing to lower levels. And uh, well, yes, as this has been behaving, it has rallied, gone to the 20, rallied, gone to the 20, and so on. And it, it will most likely continue this way. A break below the 20, that opens the door all the way down to 0 0.75. So let's look at Litecoin. Yes, so we did rally significantly today. We were up uh, around 12% and now we're trading above the 20 uh, exponential moving average. Technical indicators are turning around for this cryptocurrency. So as we are trading above the 20, it's acting as support. Break below that opens the door to the 50, but it looks like we are rounding off here and heading back toward the previous highs that is a very similar move that we saw here it may fall back down we did also here break towards the 50 like we did here rally above the 20 quite significantly and then a hard back towards the 50 before going to these highs so we could rally up towards the 200 and then drop really hard towards the 50 moving average before going high that is Technically, what happened last time, uh, that doesn't mean it has to happen now, but a V-shaped recovery from here, that is fairly unlikely. Usually, it rallies up towards the half, which is around 200, and then it breaks down again before going higher. So, let's look at NEO. So, as you can see, we also are trading above the 20 exponential. It uh, looks like a similar mood that we saw in Litecoin. We can look at, oh, sorry, at Fibonacci retracement, for example, and we'll mostly see where we'll run into resistance. That is around here. That is that $41, uh, and uh, that is around the half. So 
is if I put the same analysis for Litecoin, it will most likely be show the same thing. So we'll most likely rally up towards this point and then have a hard uh, pullback towards the 50 moving average before going higher. Um, V-shaped recoveries like this, that is uh, fairly optimistic in my in my view. It is possible, but I would not bet, bet the ranch on that. Technical indicators are turning around, but rallies up towards the uh, Fibonacci retracement at 61, that will most likely be sold into back towards the 20 or the 50 moving average. So let's look at Thrum. So yes, very similar move here. It is, uh, we can look at the Fibonacci retracement as well. For this, we can see that we are just at the, at the uh, 30, uh, at the 38th Fibonacci retracement. So if we rally from here, then we'll most likely, uh, sorry, I did that basically completely wrong here, sorry. So if we rally up towards the 50, here is 0 0.05 and the 60 is at 0 0.05. So, so yes, up towards this area here should be quite a lot of resistance. Same goes for the 61.8. Um, and rallies up towards these, uh, um, these Fibonacci retracement levels will most likely be sold into before we pull back and then go to the upside. So most of these uh, cryptocurrencies are behaving or in similar fashion. When they rally, they rally. When they break down, they break down hard. Um, so yes, that is kind of some of them are more volatile, especially these smaller ones. You can see these massive moves here to the upside and the downside. So that is just the level of risk that you are uh, investing in if you basically start investing in these cryptocurrencies. It is basically supply and demand in the market. There is no central bank behind this trying to, um, to uh, affect the value of these cryptocurrencies. So... Uh, fluctuations are massive when they continue. It has been this like in the past and it will most likely be like this in the future. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to so get news videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.